Hey everybody, I'm Nathan Fouts from Mommy's Best Games, and I wanted to tell you how I've been animating all the nasty, disgusting, pulsating creatures that you'll have to fight in Chain Staff, and how did I get a 3D effect out of a 2D sprite. Sometimes people complain about 2D games and say they look like a cheap Flash game, and I wanted to try to take Chain Staff to the next level. So I started using a 2D animation system called Spine. But Spine doesn't just automatically make 2D art look 3D. If you want that effect, you need to work on it. You have to practice to get good at how to get those effects. First, it does come down to designing your enemies and the characters and how they will complement the animation system. If you draw all the frames of animation yourself and hand draw everything, you can get any effect you want. But that would take me forever and I would never complete the game. So this method is a compromise where I can get a lot of animations done, but also make them look pretty good. But you don't want to really try for a full 3D rotation in spine if you want that kind of nice 3D effect. You just want to get this slight tilting effect. That's as, about as far as you want to go. If you want 3D, just go for full 3D. Don't, don't use spine for that. That's kind of silly. But what I like about spine is I can get these hand-drawn textures, the, all kinds of grit and detail in there, and then get, get it to move around like a moving painting. So I really like that effect. So to start, to figure out how to do this cool effect, I went with a very simple 3D box tutorial. And it showed me, um, although I know how to animate creatures and cool things, it showed me how to get this weird perspective effect. And it's just a drawing of a 3D cube, but then if you put the vertices just in the right spots on the edges and then rig the bones the right way, you can get this effect here and it looks amazing. I learned a lot of these advanced techniques from the spine animation tutorials and also from tutorials I, I found from Armand. He's a great animator. He is a wizard at rigging skeletons and spine and you should check out his work here. So for the game itself, I wanted to show you some specific examples of neat stuff I did in Chain Staff. Here is a human heart animation on an upgrade screen. And now here is the rig in spine and you can see all the vertices there and kind of see the idle animation. It really comes down to the vertex weights and how they're placed on just a few bones, how they're connected together. The best part is you can actually reweight the vertices and if you see a problem you can do it live on the animation. And I like to drag the animation around, I like to move the bones around in kind of exaggerated poses and then see where I would like a slightly you know, bigger bump or a little divot or something and you get a really neat looking 3D effect out of it. Get these nice contours. Here's one of the actual monsters in the game. This thing is called the Dandy Walker and he's from level four, and um, he has a really funky walk cycle. And I, I wanted to make it look less flat. And um, he's a very ungainly, silly monster, um, but he can still hurt you, he can catch you off guard. Here is his original walk cycle. And it looked good, but it looks very flat. So I kept pushing to try to, how can I exaggerate this? And so I re-rigged him entirely, and gave him new weights on the bones and vertices. And now you can see in the newest animation, there's a lot more depth on him. And you can see his body swinging back and forth as he walks. And here you can see it with the vertices and the bones. And I'll just kind of jiggle it around so you can kind of see like what, what little effects it has. another really crazy uh, situation. This is the giant fist. This is a bit of an action puzzle in level one. It's a giant fist that's just blocking your path and you have to figure out what to do with it. And you may have already seen it in the trailer and it's probably been spoiled if you've seen the trailer, but I'm not going to intentionally spoil it here again. But animation wise, what you get is it's stationary to start off with. And then later on you figure out as a player how to get it to start moving and it moves up and then slams down. It moves up and then slams down. And I wanted to get as much twisting out of that as I could. So you can see like one side of the arm, one side of the fist, and then the other side of the fist. And this is very similar to the 3D 
box tutorial that I did earlier that um, you rig up the vertices here along the way and connect it to some bones and you kind of have a forward and a backward bone and you can twist it back and forth like this. And I think it looks way better than it used to. <laughs> not, not nearly as flat. Now, in this last example, I don't always use spine to get a neat 3D effect out of my animation. Sometimes I actually use 3D. And most of the time that doesn't work. But in this case, it worked pretty well. This is the copter squid, the helicopter squid. Um, his body is animated in spine, but his blades on top are actually using 3D rotation and 3D pl placement in the world in a perspective camera to get that 3D effect. Um, it's not a flattened camera, it's got to be a perspective camera and then you'll get that depth to it. So I do use some other tricks to make this work. It's pretty tricky, I'm adding a little code to make it work. So the layers um, change when the blades go in the back of the camera behind, behind the figure. I have to um, change the sorting layer of the sprites so they're now behind the body. And then when they come in front, the sorting layer is now on top of the body. And the other thing I change the entire time is as the blade spins around, it's getting darker in the back and brighter in the front. And that gives it a nice deep, you know, into the screen kind of effect. So there's a, a little sample of how I'm getting some good 3D effects out of my sprites. Um, let me know in the comments about a recent game a high definition 2D game that you think had a good animation. I know there's a lot of pixel art games, um, but I want tell me if you like like a Vanillaware game. They had a recent one, something with like Unicorn in the title. But tell me some of the games you like that are 2D and have good animation in the comments there. Um, hopefully you like the animations in my game as well. I'm going to keep tweaking the animations in Chain Staff, and I'll see you again soon.